guys, Erin Wester here. I know I don't normally go live on Saturdays or the weekends at all for that matter, but um, I made a post last night about um, mom guilt and I had a bunch of ladies reach out to me telling me that they understand how I feel, that they felt the same way, um, give me love, support, prayers, things like that. So I figured... I should go live today and kind of explain more um, what I was talking about yesterday, especially for those who have been interested in joining my team. This is for you, for you ladies. Since most of you are moms on my page, um, I know most of you have experienced mom guilt. Um, you know, yesterday I was hardcore experiencing mom guilt. So, you know, my son had been sick for the last two days. Today he's fine. He's good today. But he's been sick the last two days with some kind of bug. Um, my son is a type 1 diabetic. And when type 1 diabetics are sick, I mean they're sick. Uh, blood sugars are high. They have something called ketones. Um, that you're basically taking blood sugars every hour and giving shots every hour. For two days straight. Um, you know, and right when he was at the point that we would call Children's Hospital, you know, he would go normal blood sugar and his ketones would go away but then like six or seven hours later he would have um high blood sugars again ketones you know it just was rough so thursday he was with my parents and friday he was here with me um you know and you know when he's he's here he is loud he's not quiet he pounds around is he's just loud period so Alex was having a hard time taking a nap. So, you know, he was being needy because he was sick. She wasn't sleeping. Um, you know, I have my clean eating group starting Monday, new coach training starting Monday. So, you know, yesterday was going to be a busy day. I had a lot of things I get, had to get done yesterday and I couldn't get any of it done. You know, I got to the grocery store, you know, I just, I felt like I had tons of things I needed to do and, and just none of it was getting done. So I was super overwhelmed. Um, and it's basketball playoffs, so, you know, my husband works a full-time job in Milwaukee, which is an hour uh, commute one way. And he has had, um, since it's basketball playoffs, he's also a sports journalist. So he has had games like three days a week. So, three days last week and then three days this week, he hasn't been home. So, you know, that's just more um, time that I've had to be doing kid things and not be able to work my business. Um, so, I was just so overwhelmed yesterday and I, you know, he works from home on Friday and I was just like, you know what, I need a day. I need like three hours on Sunday to me, to myself, like to go to Starbucks, not to work, but to like go read a book for fun, you know. Go have a coffee, relax, you know, just things just away from here. <laughs> away from cleaning and laundry and food and, and dinners and kids and all that. Just, I needed a break, you know, and all moms need a break every once in a while. We can't be with our kids 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We just can't. And if you feel like you can't be with your kids 24 seven, it's okay. It's normal. You need time for you. That's the honest to goodness truth. And, you know, I posted about looking for a secondary part-time job. You know, and people would say, well, you know, you have your own home business. You have a beach body business, you know. Your whole goal and dream was to have time freedom. True. So I'm going to explain this to you guys a little bit here. So... To me, time freedom is not 100% being able to be home, um, putting in 15 hours into my business. To me, that's not time freedom. To me, time freedom is the ability to work a business I love that helps me give back, but also continuing to work outside the home on a part-time basis. So a job that's super flexible, that I get to pick what job I want to work, that I get to pick that job based on the hours and how it works for my family. Um, you know, I had, uh, I have a very expensive master's degree um, in social work, you know, and I didn't um, intend to not 
continue to work in the social work field um, for the rest of my life because I love social work, but I want to do it part time. Um, part time in a way where I'm working a job I want to do, not a job that I have to do, that I got the job because, you know, it's a job nobody wants and it's easy to get. No, I want a part time job that is something I love, that is basically a job where the hours work 100% for my family, which honestly is second shift, um, or days when I know our family can take care of our kids. So, um, you know, we have family close by. My mom lives, my parents live in the same town we live in. My in-laws live in the next town over. My sister-in-law lives in the next town over. So, you know, they want time with the kids too. You know, it's not um, like you're begging people to watch your kids. Like they have to watch your kids every day, nine to five type thing. No, it's, um, you know, working part time in a way where family only has to watch them for like two or three hours a day, a few days a week. That's it. That we don't have to bring them to daycare. That I don't have to miss things. So I want flexibility. So I want to be able to go to my son's practices, my son's games, my son's um, concerts. As When my daughter gets older, when she has activities, I want to be able to go to her activities. That's time freedom. Time freedom is not necessarily, t to me, um, no work at all. Just running a business and that's it. Because, I'm going to be honest, for those of you that are considering um, becoming a coach on my team, um, you know, it's hard to just count on a home business solely. Just a home business. Um, you know, if I was willing to work 20 hours a day on a business, or if someone was willing to work 18 hours a day on a business, seven days a week, you know, you could do it solely 100%, you know, or there's lots of people that do because they really don't need the extra income. But for me, at least until my debt is paid off, my student loans are paid off, you know, it's gone from $100,000 to $80,000, which is a significant decrease thanks to Beachbody. But um, until those loans are paid off, I'm probably going to have to at least work part-time outside the home. That's honest to goodness truth. But I don't have to work full time. I don't have to work a nine to five job seven, five days a week so we can have insurance because my husband has a good job. He can get insurance to my husband. So I don't need a full time job. Um, but to pay off the debt, we honestly, I do need a part time job. That's the honest to goodness truth. When this debt's paid off, I mean, that's going to be a completely different story. Then I can just do Beach Body, you know, and be great and be wonderful. And, um, that point I'll have used my degree for 10, 15 years and then it's worth it. Uh, you know, when I was originally getting the degree, I was going to be work. I was a single mom. I was, um, the sole supporter of my son. You know, I knew I needed to get a college degree to get a good job so I could support him. And then especially once he was diagnosed with diabetes, uh, type one diabetes, um, back in 2000 and 11, when he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, I was so happy that I had that master's degree because it just made me so much more able to find a job. And that's honest to goodness truth. So, you know, mom guilt is real. I was feeling yesterday, I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, we have some stuff with family today and then I'm having some ladies over and we're going to have some wine and and uh, socialize and and talk about our kids and obviously and have, have a good time. But you know, you can say, well, you need to get a second part-time job. That means your beach body business is, is failing. You're not being successful. That's absolutely not true. Um, and so until all of our debt was 100% paid off, 100 paid off I'm, I mean, it's just reality that I need to work outside the home. That's 100% the reality of life. And, you know, lots of families, both parents have to work. It's just life. It's how it is. And, you know, I can't really count on my husband to pay off my own debt. I just won't let that happen. You know, I want to pay my own way. I want to um, contribute to the family monetarily. And that's my personal choice. Thanks, Michelle. But, I mean, it's not because my business is failing. No, it's not. Um, you know, I was working social work job 
when I got pregnant. You know, I was making $36,000 a year working as a social worker. Um, you could say, well, that's only $36,000 a year. That's not a whole ton of money. Well, the $36,000 a year paid all the bills that I was, that I'm in charge of, me and my husband are, um, we do split the finances. That's just how we do it. Uh, it works for us, so we're going to keep doing it. It makes much less fights. You know, we have joint, we also have a joint account too that we say pay certain things out of. That's just what works for us, and you know, everybody is different. But, um, you know, $36,000 a year was exact, basically what I needed to pay my pay my bills. That's hundred percent what I need to pay my bills. So with that thirty six thousand dollars gone, then I need to use my beach body money to pay bills, which is fine because I obviously I make more than that in beach body. But then how what what am I paying additional to my debt? That's really what this is about. And with just paying a one thousand dollar medical bill for my son, you know I now have a thirty five hundred I mean a twenty five hundred dollar medical bill for me. Um, from when I had my MRI and my mammogram, my ultrasound, all that stuff, you know, costs money. And we don't have, no insurance is 100% perfect. There's no insurance that's perfect. Um, it was a very, very large bill, well over $10,000. So paying $2,500, not horrible, but it's still $2,500. So that on top of trying to pay down my student loans, um, pay down my car, um, you know, we want to get working on the mortgage, but we need to get rid of car debt and, um, student loan debt first, obviously. So, you know, without the $36,000, beach body money is going to bills. So what is going to my debt? That's honestly what this is about. So, um, beach body money is going to continue to pay the bills and, um, my part-time income is going to pay off debt. I mean, that's just the reality of life. And, you know, I have the fancy schmancy master's degree. Why not use it? So that's really what this video is about today. You know, never think that um, I'm saying that home business income is not, can't solely support you. Obviously, it can. Obviously, it has. It's for the past, for over a year since October of last year, of, of 2015, it has. So absolutely, Beachbody and other marks. Uh, other home businesses can absolutely support you and your family, but, but it's going to take time. Um, it's going to take a lot of work and I'm just honestly not willing to put in 18 hour days in my business. I'm just not because, um, time freedom. I want the time with my kids and, you know, being able to choose a part-time job that I really want to work that has hours that work for me and my family is key. And until I find that 100%, I'm not going to take any job. I'm not going to settle. So that's my rant for today. And now it is time to finally get my workout in. I've been procrastinating long enough. So um, time to get my Saturday workout in and then time with family for the rest of the day and some time with friends. That's what time freedom is all about, guys. Um, being able to decide your schedule, being able to decide what you want to do, where you want to do it, what kind of work you want to do. That's really what it's about. Not just taking a job to take a job because I'm not about that. So, you know, everything's fine. We're good. Uh, my beach body business is good. You know, everything is on track. You know, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I'm still here to support everybody and, um, Clean eating group starts Monday. If you haven't got your application in yet, make sure you do that today. Um, the meal plan and everything's already posted. So make sure you do that today. So have a great Saturday, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.